<clears throat> hey, hey everyone, Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts, and it's time to do a little crafting. I had not planned on doing any more um, Halloween crafts, but um, I saw this one and I thought it was cute. So, we're going to do three pumpkins. I painted one pumpkin black. We're going to do a, um, a kitty cat with this one. Um, I picked up some ugly black roses today. I picked up some spiders. I hate spiders. A witch hat. Um, some raffia. I've got a base here I painted black. And we have a, a ghost. <laughs> So, and we got some ribbon, and we got some paint, and <laughs> we're going to try to make this cute. So, out of four pumpkins that we're going to do jack-o'-lanterns out of, we're going to do a kitty cat, and possibly a ghost. Who knows? There's no telling what this is going to turn out looking like never done one of these before so we shall see so y'all say hey when you get on let me know you're here and if you don't mind sprinkling you can sprinkle for me sprinkle means sharing the love I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on here and put a little bit of raffia and I tell you what we need to do first off is get a little paint going here we go with the paint again y'all I've been getting my stuff together y'all see in the background we got some snow cones I did a tutorial on that. We got some cotton candy. So, hey, hey, Miss Delaney, how are you? How is y'all's week going? Tell me what y'all been doing. Have y'all been crafting? Or have you been working? Okay. I have black paint here because I painted my pumpkin. So, we're going to attempt to do um, some faces on these little pumpkins. And I will, I may leave my little stems in there. We're going to stack these little boogers. Um they're gonna be three tall we're gonna have a kitty cat on here on our base somewhere and I hope it just turns out as cute as I I got it in my head okay it's cute in my head but well getting it out of my head and getting it on to here might be a different story y'all be glad when my glasses come in I've been kind of lazy so far. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes we need to be. And tell me how you get away with it, because I want to try it. I think I'm going to come see you and, and let you teach me how to, to do that. How to get away with it. because I ain't been able to. So, have y'all gotten any fall decorating done yet? 
who has started with their fall decorating y'all this is gonna be cute i hope i'm drawing him some eyes on here and i had put a little dab of orange puffy paint to see if it would roll off for his nose So far, it's staying on. I'm gonna let y'all see what I'm doing here. I'm drawing him some eyeballs. And you know, I made some pumpkins last year out of some tall boards. And they, I made funny faces on them and they turned out really cute, I thought. And I was thinking a while ago, you know, it's that time of year again. I need to pull them out and do some more. Because I really liked them. It's time to get the, the fall stuff out. Okay. I'm going to turn him upside down here a second. I'm gonna let y'all see what we got going on. Y'all, I hope my glasses come in this week. Gabrielle, hey, how are you? Welcome. I'm glad y'all were here. We are making jack-o'-lanterns. It's gonna stack. A kitty cat. A goat, we may use a ghost. These came, y'all. Our Dollar Tree got some of these $1 pumpkins. They got three boxes and they said, this is probably all we're getting. I said, that's probably a good thing. For me, because I, you can do so much with these little pumpkins. You know, like we made and I'm going to open these little, um, y'all remember these we made with the pumpkins? I'm going to take them apart and I'm going to glitter them. I think they'll be so much prettier with some uh, glitter on them. I didn't think about that when I was painting them. And I do that a lot. I think about something after the fact. So, okay, I'm gonna draw him some teeth. Okay, I'll let y'all see what I got so far. When that puffy paint, his nose is done in puffy paint orange, I will go and outline it because you can't tell he's even got a nose. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna put him some little white dots in his eyes. <laughs> Y'all see him? Okay. He's gonna be I'm knocking something. Okay. I got some white puffy paint. Let's see if I can just do a little dot on his eyes. Okay, that didn't work out too good, but anyway, he's got bug eyes now, y'all. <laughs> he's got a lot of puppy paint on there. It didn't want to come out, when it did, then poof. Maybe why it's called puffy paint, y'all. Okay, 
I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on here. This is gonna be the base. Sit over there a second. Sit in the corner. stuff is wild and woolly. Okay. I've got it on low temp. This is not something that I would put outside. Well, he's going to have droopy eyes. Okay, so I'm going to have to outline his nose because he looks, he's got an orange puffy nose and you can't hardly see it. So now um, we're going to do this one. I'm going to try to do their little expressions a little different on each one Let's see here how we can get this done I'm gonna go ahead and paint his nose. He's gonna have a long skinny nose. We're gonna do his nose black. We may put some puffy orange in it or something, we'll see. And my glasses. I got new glasses coming, hopefully this week, probably next week, but they're gonna be a, a good bit stronger. So maybe I can see better. New glue gun, yes. <laughs> There's my sweet friend, Diane. New glue gun, low temp, high temp. Yes, and it, I miss my old one. I'm a creature of habit. And after the second time of it in a row, of it, my other one messing up, not feeding the glue through, I decided to bite the bullet and change glue guns. So, I did. All right. We're gonna give him an upside down smile. And we got eyes on him. We got eyebrows on him. Y'all, this other one is, um, his eyes are drooping. See, I got a toothpick here. I guess they can have crazy eyes because they have jack-o'-lantern. What y'all think? Y'all. <coughs> I'm going to go back and put some white. That's no, about dry. Some white in his teeth. 
Now this is what this one's looking like. I guess you have to put a little white paint in here to be able to paint white, right? Let's put him some teeth. So, we're going to have some brownies, some brownie um, alamode, some chocolate-covered strawberries, some little hostess cakes. I've been getting all my fake bake stuff together. And you know, I have to have one made to show y'all. Because with fake bakes, it's done in steps. And so, a lot of it you have to like, let's see it for some overnight, some, there went my paintbrush. Some of it's overnight and some of it's a few hours, so you have to do it in steps. So I gotta have some at each step done so that I don't take up hours of time. So, okay. This is what his teeth is looking like. <laughs> Show y'all what I'm doing here. This is tedious work and I should have had probably a couple of these done. But those other two I don't think are as much detailed, maybe not. So, let's see. Y'all, I've got to start getting rid of some, some crafts now. My Etsy shop is full of wreaths. So I gotta get rid of some or I'm gonna be out of commission. I ain't gonna have nowhere to put none. Okay, he's got teeth. Isn't he cute? All right, we needed to put him some. Oh, let me get my other paintbrush, y'all. And aren't y'all proud of me? I remember to wear my apron let's paint all the inside of his eyes white I usually forget my apron and then I do good on all my painting not getting it on my clothes until I get off and I'm messing around and that's when I usually get paint all over my clothes. I hear a vehicle. Surely that's not a delivery. This late? Y'all, it was so hot today. Heat index, like, almost 110. I am so ready for cool fall weather. 
that was a delivery. I wonder what it is. Okay. See, they're all going to be have different expressions. Cute. Thank you. I just, um, I just wasn't going to do any more Halloween, but because I don't decorate for Halloween, I decorate for fall. You know, he looks sad. To show y'all some happy mail i may do a um separate video i got some happy mail and i think i just smeared a little bit of this um it's jeanette from arizona she was so sweet she sent me some pumpkin wreaths for wreath frames she also Sent me some football wreath frames. Wasn't that sweet? Okay. There's that one. Now, um, okay, what we're gonna do here is they're gonna go three tall and then we're gonna put the cat on top. I do know that. Um, but between each one, let me get a pipe cleaner here, grab two of them. We're going to put a little ribbon. Just a little one loop. I am dovetailing my ribbon. Okay. So what I want to do is take some of this raffia Y'all probably think I done lost my mind. I probably have. Um, I'm putting it here. I'm going to stagger them where they're um, going different ways. gluing down. I really think they're going to be cute. This will be a craft that um, if you had, you know, 
young kids, you could supervise them and, and you know, do this with them. Because I'm using the low temp on the hot glue gun. So, if they were old enough not to get burned, which you could operate the glue gun and let them paint the faces. You got kids, like kids or grandkids or nieces or nephews. This would just be fun to do with them, I think. That is styrofoam balls, so I'm just going to stick that rose down in there. Y'all, I've got paint all over this table from getting ready to do my fake bakes. Okay. So. That's what he's looking like. Now. I'm gonna use a toothpick here and I'm gonna sit that down in there. Let me get another glue stick, y'all. It's fixing to run out. And we're gonna put our second one on here. Just like so. I told you I was going to run out. I keep looking for the long glue sticks. I just put my finger in the paint. I'm going to have to get a little orange paint and touch his little face up. Because I just stuck my finger right in it. So far, um, wonder if this little paint, this little orange is going to be the same color. I think it is. Start fading it out a little bit. And I'll probably come back and cook, um, Paint the inside of that one's eyes white and then just dot it with some black is probably what I'm going to do. Y'all see that. And it's got where the styrofoam got um, scratched a little bit probably from the store. Okay. We got one more um, jack-o'-lantern to do real quick, and then we're gonna do our kitty cat. It's gonna be black. We gotta put our, that's what we're missing. We gotta put a spider on here. He's gotta have spiders.
y'all tell me when I'm forgetting something. Love watching you, Rachel. Thank you so very much. You are so sweet. I've got y'all pulled closer so I can see some of the comments. Sometimes I get off and I haven't seen them. So he's got one spider over there. Y'all, it's opposite for me. Cause I got y'all term where um, it's the right way. So it's backward for me when it's right for y'all. And when it's backward for y'all, it's right for me. Okay, we're gonna put another spider up here. Curious of what the kitty cat's gonna look like. I know he's gonna wear the the um, witch hat. And y'all, I'm gonna have to touch up. Okay. So we got two of the four layers on there. So, we're going to sit this where y'all can see it. Let me, um, get him a little face on here. Y'all, today is Tuesday, and it has felt like Wednesday all day. All day. So, if it felt like Wednesday today, tomorrow's going to feel like Thursday. I'm going to feel Friday. It's going to it's gonna be a long week, y'all. his eyes up here. Sounds like fireworks out there. Which we live out in the country, there's no telling. It could be. One eye, I'm not going to dot that little black in the middle because I want to come back with some white. I'm going to let this set a few seconds. These are a gun or firecrackers. It ain't hunting season yet, boys. I almost dipped my black brush in the white, y'all. That would not have been funny. Okay, we're going to draw his mouth. While this dries, we're going to work on our kitty cat. So hopefully I don't mess this one up.
my tall um, pumpkins that I did last year, they um they had cute faces. They weren't really jack o' lanterns. They I guess they were, but they just they had funny faces. I really like them a lot. And we made a gnome um, out of a tomato cage. So I want to do that again. All right, let me let that sit right there a second and I'll set it in front of that little fan so it can kind of dry. Let's work on our kitty cat. Ooh, okay, y'all. I just had an orange brush, didn't I? I got hot glue strings everywhere. Everywhere, they're everywhere. Y'all don't mind sprinkling for me the video. Sharing to your page. Okay. Ugh. I need to find a... Okay, here's a seam and here's a seam. Let's try to get halfway in the middle and see what we can do here. That orange ain't really showing up too good. I got a paper towel somewhere, y'all. Scratch that thought. Where's? All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw his, just draw the inside of his mouth, where his teeth is. Y'all, this kitty cat's gonna have a big mouth. I should have got some black puffy paint. I'm the one that thinks of everything after the fact. You know, when you get home from the store and you remember all the things that you should have, could have, would have gotten, that's me. I'm trying to hurry here. Bear with me. Because I think he's going to turn out cute. Got some ears for him. I think I'm gonna go around his mouth with the orange puppy paint, being it wasn't showing up with the other paint. And it'll be quicker too. 
He's going to have bright white teeth. I bet you this live is longer than 20 minutes tonight, huh? Y'all, I've been getting in bed and, um, let me see, who is that? Hey, John, how are you? Dry brush it white first, then use the orange paint. Could do that too, yes, thank you for the tip. Um, I think I'll use that little bit of vice here with the nose, too. Thank you, Miss Dawn. See, done his nose, and that way, um, It'll show up better. See, I need y'all to help me. To put my, feet, my hand right in the paint. Okay. Let's get these eyes done. I'm gonna put this base coat of white on here. And then we're gonna come back with our other colors. See? I just needed y'all on here to help me. I'm not going to put his eyebrow on there until <laughs> he looks like more like a ghost than he does a cat, but hey. Maybe when I get his cat eyes on there, the middle of it painted, maybe he'll look more like a cat. Who had kitty cats growing up? I think we all went as a, when I lived at home, I think we always had cats. Did y'all like cats? These eyeballs are not gonna be the same. As long as we get them on there, it's gonna be all good. I remember um, one time um, we heard a kitty cat in the bathroom. Well, in the bathroom, there was a closet that had a hot water heater in it. So we kept hearing a kitty cat in the bathroom. The kitty cat fell down where the hot water heater was. So, y'all, we had very inventive names was a little white cat. We named her Whitey. <laughs> no imagination to that. Didn't take much thinking. My dad went up in the attic and found another one. It was black, so his name was Blackie. <laughs> what names? Them eyes are not the same. So... It is what it is. I cannot freehand and match. But 
I do think this one needs to be a little bigger. So needless to say, those two cats, we had those cats for a long time. I think they had nine lives. They lived forever, I think. Okay, that's what he looks like so far. see I'm gonna let that white dry just a little bit and while that dries we have a witch hat Take that out. Cut that off. <laughs> the cat is gonna have a hat. Okay, y'all, this is not a craft that everybody would do or, or like or whatever. But I just thought it was kind of cute. So, I cut out some little triangles with some felt. I just think it's cute if you got, you know, young kids and y'all decorate for Halloween. I think it's cute. Um... I really do. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in the middle of its ear. Just some of this paint. I had a calico cat one time, and I named her Crybaby. She cried all the time. She'd walk around crying. She was beautiful, though. She was beautiful. Long-haired calico. That is a stiff hat. We're gonna see how this will work. And we always seem to have a little dog too. Some little cats and dogs. Okay, that's our ear. Just a little triangle I gathered it let's see how we can get it on here I might should have cut the little hat down a little bit I got the little hat at the Dollar Tree today. No, I didn't. I just lied to y'all. I got the spiders today. I had the Halloween hat, although it did come from the Dollar Tree. But I didn't get it. I had it last year. So let me get my story straight. They did have some today, though. Okay. That's one ear. <laughs> Y'all, I hope he's going to be cute. I hope he's going to be cute. Okay. 
Okay, let's put a little orange paint on the middle of this ear. You know, if you was doing a little Halloween party or um, the kids was having a little Halloween party or trick-or-treaters, you could put this on the table where all the candy is. Or, you know, it'd be cute. So I'm just basically painting a little triangle in the ears. <laughs> okay. Let's get this one glued on. Okay. Now he has two ears. I'm not sure he looks like a cat though yet. Oh my goodness. Hey, Miss Stephanie, how are you? Good to see you tonight. All right, we're making a, a stack of jack-o'-lanterns and a kitty cat and spiders and all the things. Okay, let's see here. Let me put some white in the middle of this jack-o'-lantern's eyes real quick. That's the, I think the jack-o'-lantern's was easier to paint their faces than the kitty cats. Okay. But this would be really cute as a tablescape. Sit beside your um, bucket of candy. Let's put his teeth in there. Y'all, I'm concentrating really hard. Really, really hard. Try not to make a total mess of it. I don't like real scary things. I've never been one to watch scary movies. Anything like that. Um, oh, smaller white one. And some little detail over here. All right, we'll come back and put some little dots in the in his eyes and put the little lines in his teeth. Um, 
this one down here on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and fill in his eyes because I don't like how that looks. And then we'll add some little dots. A brown in there I just don't like how that turned out I you know imagine something cuter but it just didn't happen and that orange puffy paint for his nose still in grad I have to make the little black um, detail on that later. That's why I have a bib on y'all. I just dropped the paintbrush. <laughs> y'all gonna call me clumsy tonight. That's what y'all gonna do. This one look cuter and the black is kind of fading into the white so I'll have to come back later and do a little touch up with the white over it and I'll have to outline the, the little nose Can't even tell with his nose being orange. You can't even tell he's got a nose. Okay. He's looking a little better. paint there I smeared it okay he's a looking cute okay y'all let's see let's let the kitty cat face dry a little bit more before I, I go touching it again and before we finish that one, all right, so we're going to need some more raffia. Let's just, this stuff just goes crazy. It's all stringy and stuff, but I think it makes it look cuter. What y'all thinking? stuff going everywhere y'all I do have trash can over here I'm not just throwing it on the floor but although I throw my paintbrushes on the floor okay so let's get us another little one loop bow here 
I just think this is something cute to do with your kids. My kids wouldn't like it. My kids are grown adults. So I'm doing it. So y'all, so um, I can do it. It's okay, y'all's kids. And grandkids and nieces and nephews and okay. You know, a lot of times, like when your mamas, you stay so busy, especially if you work, you don't have time to do all the little crafty and things and all when your kids are young. By the time you get old enough and they're grown and gone, then you got a little extra time. Then you don't get to do it with them. I guess that's why they say grands are so grand. You get to do the fun things with them. Because when you're raising your kids, you're either at work or you're busy making a living and now we go to work and come home and kids are gone. That's sad. Okay, let's put another black rose in there. Hey, hey, kitty cat. Should be going nowhere. Y'all, my stools. Makes a noise on this concrete when it moves. Stick the black rose out there. Put us some hot glue here. left the little stems in the pumpkins so that it just helps hold the, the next pumpkin up. Yeah, you look sad because you know that other pumpkin's going to sit on top of you, huh? You're going to get squished. Okay, let's see. I need to be sitting them in my water while I'm in between coats. That's what I need to be doing. Let me get a little bit more white here, y'all. on this extra coat of white. On his eyes. If I had some black puppy paint, I would just put the black puppy paint for those little dots on his eyes. So the white is still kind of wet. So when it gets dry, I'll come back and re-dot re it. Aren't they looking cute? But see how the one on the bottom, he just needs his um, 
a little black in his eyes to be bigger. Okay, so we got that one ready for the next little pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern. Let's, um, give him some dots in his eyes. And give him some teeth, and then we can attach him. them little lines for his teeth. I'm trying to make them crooked. He's going to have crooked teeth. Bless his heart. He didn't get no dentist or nor, no orthodontist a treatment. Maybe his teeth is chattering. Going back over that little line. Make our little dot a little bigger in his eyes. So he looks a little more scared. backwards for me <laughs> okay let's put this one up here they're not tilted as much as I really wanted them to be but they're okay and we may have to come back around with some more grass. It's not really what it is. Raffia. So you can't see the um, little stem in there. to see the stem. I guess they need to look like they in the woods. Y'all, that's hard. It says low temp gun, but it ain't too much low. pull on it it's just gonna come out okay I was using the low temp because of the um, little pumpkins being styrofoam. And y'all, these little pumpkins came from the Dollar Tree. The little board came from Dollar General. See, isn't it looking cute? I 
I will touch up a little bit on them. Okay, let's see what we got going on with our kitty cat now. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. This gray don't sound like it's too fresh. So, we have to just use it out of there. I'm gonna paint, um, the sides of his eyes gray okay then i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna have some green and then the very middle i'm gonna have some black and i'm glad miss dawn told me to do a base coat of white because it's making the gray look a lot better because I don't think that gray would have showed up without the base coat being white. So, Miss Dawn, thank you for that little tip because I am not a painter. I tell y'all that and I end up doing little crafts that require me to paint. Go figure, y'all, go figure. All right, so that's what our gray is going to look like. Um, this is adorable. Thank you, Miss Dawn. I appreciate that. I'm going to have to go back when the, all the paint dries I'll go back and touch up a little bit because it's it's not perfect but I thought it was cute I've seen the the stacking pumpkins and last year I did uh, stacking pumpkins also with the like 97 cent um plastic pumpkins you get like the little trick-or-treat pumpkins the pumpkin buckets I did the three stacking on top of a little planter like thing I think and it turned out cute with leaves and stuff it wasn't Halloween it was fall so y'all when they start putting out those little buckets get you some buckets the trick-or-treat buckets because they're 97 cents and you can paint them and then we can stack them and make arrangements out of them and they're beautiful so just giving y'all heads up now all right we got gray on the sides for the eyes all right i got glue all over my fingernails all right he's gonna have an orange nose all right and then i'm gonna before i do that I said we was gonna paint the inside of his eyes green. That's too much green. And this is a lime green. Y'all, the cat's eyes are going up and down. Okay. He may 
may end up looking like a kitty cat after all. Or resembling one anyway. We'll say resemble one. He'll for sure have kitty cat eyes. Y'all see? You see that green? Don't know. Thought I was missing some of the comments stop for me. I don't know. I see very few comments and then when I always get off I see more and I'm thinking why well, didn't see that one move and so the comments don't always move for me. I don't know why. I'll hold this up and let y'all see the detail. Put a little bit more orange on the nose. what I'm forgetting. He's going to have to have whiskers, y'all. Here's my white one. He's got to have some whiskers. whiskers y'all he needed some whiskers y'all okay And do y'all think we got the little white ghost? Tell me. Do y'all think we should use the little white ghost in the back, back behind him, peeking out or something? What Y'all tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right, now we got to outline his eyes and give him some teeth and y'all were moving on. I just think I need to get my, that puffy paint didn't come out so heavy at one time. I would just outline his little eyes with the puffy paint. to reload your brush so much to get it on there so do y'all think we need to um to put the ghost on there i don't see no comments Tell 
tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Better brush. Fresh paint. Not too much better, but a little bit. I'll need to come back when this dries and go back over the orange to make it stand out more. I just can't get it to go on thick enough to to make it look real good. So, all right, let's outline his mouth. This is what we're looking. We definitely need a ghost. Okay, we got a ghost. He's already painted white. We'll do a couple little dashes of black outline. And put him peeking out. Oh, it is hot up in here. All these lights, I think they put off a ton of heat. I'm ready for some cool mornings. And some pretty fall leaves and a vacation from work. Just saying. Okay. I know I had a smaller black one. Let's give his teeth. We're just drawing a line through here. He's smiling, he's grinning. He is up to mischief. That's what he's looking like, y'all. Is he looking like a, a kitty cat? He's grinning from ear to ear. That's what that's all about. Okay. That's our kitty cat. <laughs> he looks crazy. <laughs> anyway, when he dries more, I'll go back over and outline the orange around his eyes and clean it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's funny. Okay, let's put some more grass. Raffia, grass, whatever. <laughs> up here. Let's see. Y'all, this is... Y'all are not used to me doing a, a long live, are y'all? It's, it's taking a while tonight. 
have to. You got a short one. I didn't realize these faces was going to take up so much time. Next time I'll know to. Um, have all of them done, but maybe one. Got a spider over here. I'm gonna have to take this off. Take our, our stem on our pumpkin. I got another piece of scrap, which I got a. Well, here's a bunch of it right here. Okay, and y'all, it don't bother me that it's messy. It doesn't bother me that it's... Good night. Good night. Somebody's leaving me. Okay, we're going to put some hot glue up here. Try not to get my hot glue all up, my gun all up in the. The glue, the paint there. Yeah, I want that all messy. All right, we need, um. We need a spider over there. done. I appreciate y'all hanging out. This has been a long live. Y'all used to my um 20-30 minutes and I'm out of here. It didn't happen tonight, did it? gonna put some of these little black leaves up here on the top of this hat and some of this black looks like a tree branch I got strings everywhere okay y'all This is our ghost. And the only thing I want to do to him is y'all between the hot glue and the hair and the, it's all going crazy. All right. That's a little bit too big. I'm 
smaller brush here. And a little bit of fresh paint. I just want to kind of outline um, around his eyes. He's got cutouts on his eyes. He's got cutouts on his on his mouth. But just to give him a little definition here. And I gave him a little swoop for his eyelashes. Just gonna make it a little fun. Then we'll put him behind there looking like he's all uh, sneaking around. And his teeth. We might do something on his little smile there. Make him act like he's grinning whether he is or not. We want him to be a friendly, happy ghost. Snaggletooth and all. That's what we want. Okay, y'all. Uh, and just kind of go around making little, little marks. Nothing fancy, just Outlining it basically. And then we'll put him behind there. I think he's going to be cute peeking out. And I bought these little cutouts probably two years ago. So I don't know if Dollar Tree has them this year. I have no idea. Trying to make him look like he's got like a little sarcastic smile grin to him. Okay, so say we just went around him and just kind of outlined him a little bit. And let's see. I 
I just want him to kind of stand out like this. Where he's peeking out, you know, from behind. I think that's how we're gonna put him. So, let's see. We're gonna need some glue down here. Dawn, I think you're right. We needed the ghost. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm sorry it took so long with me painting. You love this? Thank you, Miss Dawn. I appreciate that. And thank you for your little tips. They helped out so much. But, um... The little base came from the Dollar General. Um, the roses, the spiders, the orange, pump, well, orange black pumpkins, and the hat all came from Dollar Tree. The raffia came from, now I think Dollar Tree even sells raffia, if I'm not mistaken, but I think mine probably came from Hobby Lobby. Um, paint put some more of that up there um you can get paint at walmart let's see putting those right there stand up there i've worked hard on you all night you need to cooperate Um, you'll need a little felt to make little ears. The ghost came from Dollar Tree last year. So, I don't know if they have them. They should have them this year. But anyway, we got different little faces on all the little pumpkins. And the top pumpkin was orange. And I painted him black to be the little kitty cat. <laughs> Thank y'all for the hearts. And thank y'all for staying for so long. I am sorry it took so long. Next time I'll have most of it painted. But we had fun hanging out. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, I'm going to let y'all get off of here. I'm going to cut up some of this raffia from hanging off the back of the bottom. And besides going over the... These are just hanging um, a little bit down here on the Y. I'm going to put some little black bigger dots and go around his eyes a little bit more once that dries. So, thank y'all. <laughs> the ghost picking out just makes it. Thank you, Miss Delaney. I appreciate that. Miss Delaney is very sweet. She's been with me a while. So, I appreciate that. I think he turned out cute. And y'all can make one of these for your Halloween decor or just if you have any trick-or-treaters, just make something to go beside the trick-or-treat bucket. There. Can y'all see it better now? So... Remember, I love you all, and until next time, y'all get crafty and make something pretty, and stay safe. So, I love y'all, and I will see y'all next time. Thank y'all. Good night.